Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Short, right here in the Ranton Chair. Smoking Man Filter Tube of Doom in place of the Lucky Strike. Sort the world's problems out in between cups of coffee. Better today. Uh, you know, I, I actually slept last night. And I even woke up fairly early for once. I'm getting my schedule back on track. This whole thing with mom has kind of like been really disrupting to my routine. Like, it's been really, really upsetting for her, too. And, you know, like, after 35 years of living alone with old people and then various strippers throughout the years, because, like, I had live-in girlfriends for, like, a lot of years. <clears throat> you know, like, I've never really been alone alone. And, you know, now I am. And it's kind of fucking weird. Like, it's, I'm having to be self-motivating. And, you know, usually I've always had like, okay, well, I know old person needs this thing at this time because this is the way things are and that's the way things are. Like, if I don't want to get dressed for the day and I want to sit around in my fucking undershorts, I can do it. If I don't want to take a shower, brush my teeth, I don't have to. You know, and it's like, it's kind of a dangerous routine to get into of like, well, I don't have to do shit today, so I'm not going to. Now, I do that sometimes when my knee is giving me hell or my back hurts. Like, some days when I when I wake up, especially when it rains, I scream so fucking loud that I swear the neighbors think, you know, I'm an Italian family with fucking Tourette's. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay today. And, uh, you know, I didn't eat much yesterday because it's like the day before food card day. And I'm not sure how much is on the food card, but today is food card day. So that means I am going to go get pizza and see Mama. You know, after a shower and shave, brush the old teeth, you know, things like that. You know, but that's kind of what I talk about is like being alone. It's weird. Like this is the first time in my grown up life where I've had basically zero fucking responsibility. I've never had that before. Like I started doing old folks care when I was 12 years old. Like, when my dad started having seizures and shit. Like, he lost his driver's license for close to two years. And, you know, he couldn't drive anymore because he had epilepsy. And, you know, they couldn't figure out why. Actually, what the real problem was probably more than likely was the Darvon they were giving him for pain back in the day. Before they started him on his Vicodin and then he worked his way up the fucking food chain. That's my theory, man. Darvon's a bad drug. Uh, they only use that for medically assisted suicide in Oregon now. Darvon and Secondals, you know, but which is funny because Darvon's in the same class of drugs as methadone. Uh, I actually took some of them a few times and washed it down with liquor, and I got to tell you, man, that that was a wild ride for me. Uh, you know, like being dope sick, and yeah, no, that's just fucking. Adventure time right there. Uh, that'd be another fucking fun segment. You know, adventure time with drugs. You know, might do that someday. But, you know, I remember when my dad got sick. You know, he couldn't drive anymore, but he still needed things. He couldn't walk. He was getting around with the fucking cane. He just had his first stroke. So what he'd do is he'd just toss me the keys to the car. And he's like, hey, get my Cadillac car. Give me a ride to the fucking... Jim's grocery store up the street. We're going to get some smokes and some booze. It's like, okay. No, I didn't have a driver's license, but, you know, I was in town. It was down a couple of alleyways. You hook up the block and, you know, like, then you go under the bridge again and back up and around the corner. And, like, you don't even have to get on the main road, you know. Now, is it illegal to drive when you're 12 years old? Yes, but, like, I did it anyway, you know. He taught me how to drive when I was, like, seven. And of course, there's Billy the Cessna up lane. And of course, noisy pecker birds. Oh, I can actually see the damn Cessna up lane. Got a little blinking light on top of it. But I remember he retired the year I went to high school, man. You know, he used to work for the local school district here. You know, he did a lot of different jobs over the years. But the point of this I'm trying to make is, like, life has a way of grabbing you by the boo-boo, Right? You know, and I remember the first time I saw my dad have a seizure, I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck is this? This is terrible. Like, you know, it was a grand mal seizure. It was one of them big ones, like where you have to hold on to them so they don't bang their head on shit. 
and roll them on their side, you know. And I remember feeling so fucking bad for him and shit. And, you know, throughout the years, it got worse. Like, it, it's a slow progression downhill. You know, just because the train has a fucking horn doesn't mean the train has to use the horn in the morning time. I'm trying to make a point here. My thought train is derailing. Damn it. You know, I remember about that same time when my dad started getting sick. My mom started getting sick, too. Right? They both went on the CPAP machine about the same time. You know? And I remember all the fights about the shit. You know, it's like, you, know, you got to wear your damn CPAP. He's like, I don't want to wear it. I don't want to wear it. I fucking hate this stupid thing and whatnot. So, well, you got to use your oxygen concentrator. You know, shit like that. And eventually it gets to the point where you can't live without it. Like, that's my biggest problem is going to sleep at night anymore. Not so much because I'm not drinking, although that sure as hell fucks me over. But it's like the the noise from the oxygen concentrator and the noise from the CPAP machine, you know, like that's how I slept for like 23 years. Like I knew if the oxygen concentrator wasn't on, something was wrong and it'd wake me up, you know, well now it's, it's dead fucking quiet in this house, at least until puddles, the porch piss pup gets up at fucking one to three o'clock in the morning and has the zoomies or until they go river dancing in football cleats, you know, <clears throat> and it's very disruptive, man. Well, I realize this is kind of a, a scattered rambling of thoughts, but my point is, is like, when you're in the shit, okay, and, and your life is going down the fucking tube, you know, God has hit the flush knob, and the blue water's coming to fucking make all the little smears in the bowl go away, you don't realize that you are going down the toilet as fast as you are until you end up in the damn septic tank. And you don't see it while it's happening to you. You only see it really in retrospect. Like, you know, all the dumb shit I did as a kid, you know, to pay the bills for mom and dad and stuff. Like, like that's how I got into armed robbery years and years ago as a kid, is because my mom and dad's insulin were $800 a week with insurance. $800 a week. Now you compound that with a mortgage payment and tell me what's more important to you. You have your insulin so you don't die or you have a home so you don't freeze to death, right? You know, it's all a racket to suck you dry. Like, like now, you know, I think my mom's insulin last time we got a bottle of it was 25 bucks. Well, it could have been 25 bucks 15 years ago and saved me having to do all the dumb shit that could have got me killed, right? But it's all a racket, man. And, and I'm not knocking big pharma. You know, I know you got to make your money. You know, my issue is, is that all of this shit, it's just piled on one little thing to another. Like, like I had the recession, right? And then I had to rebuild after that. And then I was homeless again after that. And then I come home, you know, I got my shit together. And like we had the Donald Trump years. We had like four of those and they were okay. Stand by. Just a day full of distractions and noise. What we have seen here is the elusive North American yard bastard. It's natural habitat. It's like a nature show kind of, right? But, but that four years, you know, between like 16 and 20, right? You know, they were okay. Like gas was okay. We could kind of go do things. You know, we could afford to feed ourselves. You know, life wasn't so fucking terrible. You know? And then 2020 happened and fucking just destroyed us. You know, financially. It was another great recession. And... You know, we had that finite time to where, hey, you know, there's a little extra money. You can put stuff away and you can live. Like, in other words, you basically, you have to be able to read the fucking tea leaves, okay? Like, I'm one of those people that kind of knows when the bad shit's going to happen. And people are like, no, you're pessimistic. You have to have false hope and everything. No, I don't. Like, I know I'm fucked. Like, there's no two ways around it. I know I'm fucked. The difference is I'm fucked on my own terms. Like, I'm the one putting on the, the latex all dressed up in the basement here, you know? 
Like, I'm the one that's going to be doing the fucking, not the other way around. Like, like we're all getting fucked in the end, basically, is what, how it works. But I, I plan to be the one grabbing the hair and smacking the ass. You know, not the other way around. You know, and that's kind of where I want want this whole discussion to go, is like, get fucked on your own terms, all right? You know, like tomorrow, like we're waiting to see if mom gets her last check or not before they decide she's, you know, that far gone that she's going to the nursing home forever, which we know she is, but insurance has to go through the motions. So we're hoping that she gets another check and that might buy me more time and get things set up better for mom and I, you know, and sometimes all you can do is hurry up and wait. But I'm going to be productive today. I'm going to shower. I'm going to shave. I'm going to go visit my mommy. Tell her I love her. Give her a hug. I'm going to go get some pizza. I'm going to get some chores done around here. Because uh, I didn't feel it yesterday. I was sicker than a dog. You know, like, not drinking is actually worse on my body than fucking drinking at this point. You know, and that's why I want to stop for a while. Is to, like, I, I need to be able to get adult shit done. But I hope at least I've helped motivate or at least inspire somebody. If nothing else, I hope at least I, I gave you a good laugh, you know. But uh, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day and eat my shorts. And the word of the day is hurry up and wait because that's exactly what I'm doing.